The United Nations System Staff College UNSSC is a UN organization that serves the personnel of the United Nations and its affiliates via interagency training and learning. The organization aims to contribute to a more effective, results-oriented and agile United Nations through learning, training and knowledge dissemination. Since their creation in 2015, UNSSC's learning and knowledge efforts have been geared towards enabling the United Nations system in identifying innovative approaches to deliver on the requirements of the challenges posed by the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. Topic: History The idea of creating an entity to train the employees of the United Nations had been bounced around since at least 1969, when the feasibility of creating a staff college began to be explored. In 1971, the General Assembly approved, in principle, the creation of a new staff college for United Nations employees. However, its formal creation could not be approved by the body until financial resources could be found. In 1993, Secretary General Botrus Ghali created a joint United Nations International Labour Organization team to seriously consider the creation of a staff college, tasking it with creating a concrete proposal. The proposal of the team was accepted in 1995. However, it wasn't until August 2000 when an independent team evaluated the plan for the college and recommended that the United Nations formally draw up a statute for the creation of the staff college. The college was formally created by the General Assembly on 20 December 2000 via Res. 55-207. This resolution called for an institution for system-wide knowledge management, training and learning for the staff of the United Nations system. It also specified that special attention be paid to the areas of economic and social development, peace and security and the internal management of the United Nations system. On 12 July 2001 the General Assembly approved the statute of the college via Res. 55 278 This statute laid out the college's objectives, governance structure, finances and staffing criteria, among other things. The resolution also called the college a source of continuous learning for the staff of the United Nations system. Topic. Mandate and vision The mandate of the UNSSC is, "...to serve as a system-wide knowledge management and learning institution, with a view to fostering a cohesive management culture across the UN system." The vision of the UNSSC is, "...to provide the skills and knowledge to empower the most valuable resource of the UN system, our people." Topic. Campuses. As the United Nations is a global organization and its employees are posted on the far corners of the world, the UNSSC works to ensure equal access by hosting programs in a variety of locations. The UNSSC has two physical campuses, the first in Turin, Italy, and the second in Bonn, Germany. It also hosts events at United Nations headquarters in New York, at regional and country levels and online via its online campus. The Turin campus, which also acts as the headquarters of the UNSSC, is the only residential campus of the United Nations. The Bonn campus was opened in 2016 and houses the UNSSC's Knowledge Center for Sustainable Development. This center will play a key role, along with the United Nations Lab for Organizational Change and Knowledge, in building up the technical, managerial, and leadership capacities of the United Nations staff to address the sustainable development goals. The UNSSC also hosts classes online via its UN Knowledge Campus. This online campus allows the UNSSC to reach all corners of the world, and allows access to those United Nations employees who do not have the resources to attend courses at one of the two physical campuses. Leadership The governing body of the UNSSC is the Board of Governors. They approve the overall work program, as well as deal with the college's budget. Members of the Board act as ambassadors for the college by promoting its work at inter-agency gatherings and throughout the United Nations system. The flowing comprise the members of the board, chair, members of the board, ex officio members. <laughs> 